you may be given an order, let's say for example, patient Don Smith is on a 1800 mil fluid restriction. If a fluid restriction is in place, the max I have seen is 2000 mils fluid restriction. So this means you have to make sure the patient, caregiver, any family are aware and it's enforced to keep the patient safe. That's why in this video, I'm gonna review with you what counts as a liquid and how to calculate your patient's intake. And before we get started, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christina, nurse practitioner don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Let's get started. Fluid restrictions are used in the setting but not limited to patients with congestive heart failure. Some patients will be readmitted to the hospital because of lack of education, lack of compliance with their medication management or just too much fluid intake or they just don't know how to manage their new lifestyle modifications. But over time, nurses have leveled up and educated their patients with congestive heart failure on diet, medication, and weight management. So let's talk about what counts as a fluid and about how many meals does it contain? So I'm going to share common servings typically served in a hospital setting. So for example, patients um, permitted to have a cup of coffee most likely wouldn't be um, on the telemetry floor, but assuming they can consume the full serving, it would measure about 240 meals for a cup of coffee. So let's assume the patient consumed 100% of each item. So it would consist of ice cream, which is about 118 mils. A full cup of ice is about 120 mils. Sherbet is about 118 mils. A cup of tea measures 240 mils. A bottle of Ensure is about 237 mils. A full cup of liquid is about 240 mils. A cup of Jello is equivalent to 120 mils. A cup of soup is 240 mils. A carton of milk is 236 mils. Our famous popsicles are about 90 mils when melted. A mini can of soda is about 237 mils and a cup of juice is 118 mils. And to keep the families and patients involved, I will keep a tracking record near the patient's bedside. That way they can chart what they consumed and feel accountable as it is updated throughout the shift by either the RN or the care partner or the patient or family so everyone is accountable. I will also have a sign near patient that they are on a fluid restriction to call the nurse if any questions regarding um, volunteers or chaplains that stop by and your patient will most likely ask if they could have an extra cup of ice so it's very nice for them to resort back to the nurse so that's why I have a sign up. Um, the cafeterias are pretty good about sending patients with a printout of what each item contains such as food, liquid, and how many meals so you know what to document appropriately. So let's dive into an example. So Mr. Smith for lunch, he had about half of his insure. So total amount is about 237 mils. Um, so half of that is about 118.5 mils. And a bowl of soup that was about 100% of it, which means it was 240 mils with a roll of bread and a cup of fruit. So this means Mr. Smith consumed about 358 0.5 mils for lunch and for breakfast he just had a cup of coffee which is about 240 mils so 358 0.5 plus 240 mils equals 598.5 mils. And he is on an 1800 mil fluid restriction, so that means he has 1,201.5 mils remaining, and he just used his call bell and asked the tech if he could have a cup of ice. So the tech calls me and asks me if he can have a cup of ice. What do you say, boss, yay or nay? The answer is yes. We just gotta subtract 120 mils from 1,201.5 mils. So that means for dinner, Mr. Smith can have the remainder or the remainder of the day, 1,081.5 mils. Now here's the key point. Patients with a strict INO intake, we weigh daily and enter into our flow sheet to keep them updated. The value of this is to monitor for an increase in weight. So a rapid weight gain of three pounds in one week or one or two pounds overnight calls for intervention and needs to be addressed by the covering provider. All right, this wraps up fluid restrictions. Don't forget to check out one of my other videos and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.